There's been so much talk about Sarri Ball and the, the manager's position. Are we saying that it's not his fault? It's the players who are just abandoning the basics of football here, for whatever reason? Uh, I think it's, it's, it's a combination. I mean, a, a big thing in football now is when, when a manager comes in, does the manager adapt to the players that he has in his squad? Or oh, it's like, you adapt to me. I don't think he has the players to do what he wants to do, which is this high-energy game. He hasn't got the, certainly the front three to go and press. His big problem is that the one player he's brought in to implement his style, Jorginho, is the one everyone's pointing a finger at and saying, he's the problem. So that, that's the problem he has uh, going forward now in trying to do this. He's now got Higuain in, but Higuain's 31. It's not the prime Higuain. We've seen this before with Chelsea. But it goes back, again, to the owners of the football club that they bring in a manager who's trying to implement change. It's not just following on from someone. It's, it's, it's a complete contrast. And never before have they had the conviction to really stick with it and go through the pain. I think Gary Neville said that when we were you know, debating that yesterday. They've got to go through the pain if they want to keep them. But the problem is they've never done it before and they've always had success, more often than not, changing coach. And that's a problem. Shows it, Jamie, because we, we've got that on a graphic, actually. With I, I suppose you're, you're referencing the two changes that came at a similar time to this, Scolari and, and Vias Boas. Yes, and what we're saying is similar type of managers who want to implement a certain style of football. Look at the positions they were in the league. Not, not disastrous, you know? And also what happened and what they achieved. So what, what that does is it sends a, a message even to their own supporters that change isn't a bad thing. Because if Let's I, get the next one. Yeah, because, <laughs> say, for instance, perfect example is the man who came up against Pep Guardiola. Pe we couldn't see the real Man City until last season because he didn't have the full-backs to play how he wanted to play. I think he had four full-backs over 30. I'm talking about his front three, or sort of four or five attacking players, who I'm not sure if they've got the energy to do what he wants to do. But Man City fans, I don't think, were calling Pep. It was more maybe the media and, and people like us saying, OK, we're not sure what we're seeing in this first season, whatever it may be. Maybe the same with the Jurgen Klopp. I don't think Sarri's getting that support from his own supporters. That's the big problem. And also, the fact that when Pep Guardiola come in, a Jurgen Klopp, your supporters know what they've done in the past with Dortmund or Barcelona and the, and the stuff that they've won. I think probably half the people at Chelsea are probably not sure who the guy is when he come in. Now, I'm not being disrespectful there, but, but the job he did at Napoli was unbelievable, but he's not coming in with a, a Champions League or a La Liga or a Bundesliga. And it is difficult, the job is easy. He's never had the biggest of teams, really, to prove that. But that's his big problem. Actually, right now, who is actually supporting this man if the board aren't? Well, we can see from the, the previous managers who've lost their jobs mid-season trying to change the style. Patrick, it's been February and March that they've made a change. We're in February now. Realistically, and you've been around some, some great managers, how long do you think it takes for a, a manager to implement his own philosophy on a club? Yeah, first of all, I would like to say something. Um, it's a bit scary that we already talk about coaches who need to go out or who went in. I think, first of all, the player needs to look at himself. It's a team effort, what they have to look at, and it's really lacking of team, team effort, team spirit. Of course, the, the coach is, uh, is responsible for this, but he doesn't have to give all the blame to the coach. Um, so how long should he have? You know, in, in the past, we have seen also that he did a good job with, uh, with, with Chelsea. But, uh, of course, it's, it's, uh, it's a matter of results. And uh, this result against Manchester City was a disaster. But do you think, he has, the, do you think he has the players now yeah, he's to, got play, the players, to play the way he wants to play, as Jamie says? Well, uh, first of all, you have to look at the, uh, at the players and uh, put them in the right position. That's the first thing, that's for sure. And if it can't... Matches, uh, matches you in, in the, 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 the system you want, you want to play, you need to change the system because this team, if you look at the players individually, I love to work with those, with those players and, 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 and you know, try and give them uh, you know, the opportunity to play on the position where, where, they, where they need to play. But I think that um, he needs to have more time. And, and you know, time is, is, is uh, difficult, but uh, it's not easy. It's not easy. I, I, he should be there to the end of the season. 
And of course. But what, what you're saying about we you're speaking about a coach this year, I think the only reason we're speaking about Sari is because it's Chelsea. We're not and because speaking of about, what's happened before. Yeah, and we're not exactly, yeah. and we're not we're not speaking about Unai Emery. He's in a similar position to you know fifth, sixth in the league. Both of them swap. Yeah. Sari's in a cup final also. So that's the reason why we speak about it because it's Chelsea and what they've yeah. done. Uh, I would like to see them stick with it and not make this change, certainly in the middle of the season. But unfortunately, we know that these next few fixtures, because of Chelsea's history, you would imagine could be vital to whether Sarri gets the chance four, to really... Four games before they face in a, another Premier League uh, match. I'm I, not sure that's a good or a bad thing, right? I, I actually think Chelsea now... I'm not just Chelsea, I think a lot of the clubs now, top four is everything. Uh, getting to the Champions League, even sometimes more than a cup final, uh, really. And I actually think the Tottenham game is huge, as opposed to the others. I think if he lost a couple of the others, it wouldn't be the, the end of the world for him. I, I think the Tottenham game, and I think as soon as Chelsea's hierarchy feel they could miss out on the top four, that's when they may make that change. We see teams at the bottom sort of throw the dice at the end of the season. We're going to get ready, it's worth a risk. I think Chelsea think that at the other end of the table, because they've made so many changes. It's worth taking the risk to try and could something happen, get us into the top four. And it's just unfortunate. If he, if he wants to be a manager who comes in, implements a style, wants change, which is going to take time, 100%, he's probably picked the wrong club.